Hi and welcome to my 50 questions about DU. Uh, my name is Georgia Kiriakou. I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. I study business and management. Um, at home it's in the Adam Smith Business School but at DU it's in the Daniels College of Business. It's on the south side of Evans, um, funnily enough across the street from Ben and Jerry's conveniently enough. So. Business and management. I'm only joking, it's applicable, it's varied and it's definitely thorough. Um, I'm an exchange student at DU so I don't know entirely how it works in terms of like credit requirements for a major, um, but it does seem like it's a fairly rigorous program. For me, it definitely has to be uh, Marcus Commons. I really like that it's it's a nice area to study in and I like that there's an Einstein bagels right beside there and Marcus Commons so you can just jump in for lunch really quickly. It actually has six floors. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it from the outside, um, but it's actually a huge building and the Schneider boardroom on the sixth floor where I've had a couple classes um, in my time here has a really, really gorgeous view of the mountains. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, since I'm an exchange student here, I haven't specialised here, but because I'm honours, um, I'm specialising in my last two years, so I think mine's going to be international business uh, as far as my dissertation topic and um, subject credits go. I actually didn't intend on studying business and management. I actually, I always wanted to be a lawyer, but I took economics um, in my first two years at Glasgow before I realised that it really wasn't making the most of the strengths that I have. Um, but because I was a double honours student, I was able to switch easily over to um, business from economics, similar to my colleague Ronnie, who switched to media from biology. Actually, no, I'm the first student in my family to go to university and I'm, I'm actually definitely really proud of myself for that, so. Like I was saying before, I, I do want to be a lawyer. I'd love to be a lawyer. Um, taking law classes at DU and the Bells School, which is Business Ethics and Legal Studies, um, and that's MDCB, it's given me the chance to talk to some really good lawyers who are also lecturers and I've made the decision to specialise in family law in future. That's my dream job and I'd love to start a charity for families who can't afford the representation that they need. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to do a master's in law once I graduate back in the UK. Um, I, I hopefully would be able to use that to practice in New York. Um, I imagine I'd have a small time job kind of at first so that I can get some experience and do the bar exam before that but um, after graduation I mean I hope that I can get some kind of job in a firm for a while. Um, so I was taking 18 at the start um, but because of Covid fun I, I had to drop a white collar crime which was a four credit class so now I'm only taking 14. Uh, like I said before, I, I don't know because I'm an exchange student, so it's different at home because the credits translate differently. Um, so I don't want to, you know, advise since I, I'm not too sure myself. So I've worked all throughout school, but I haven't actually had an internship. Um, I would love to be a legal intern somewhere, whether that be in the US, um, particularly Boston, maybe New York, uh, but also in the UK. I'm really hoping that I can get something like that in my last year of school. So, <laughs> funny story. Um, I'm actually, we're actually at my boyfriend's cabin right now. It's in Breckenridge, we're just outside of Breckenridge. And um, we're here because of COVID. So our um, roommate traveled and we kind of had to isolate ourselves, but it's been nice. And it's nice to get some exercise outside and see moose outside the windows. For me, um, definitely, and my discipline contracts for business, it was with Paula Holt, who's probably my favourite professor at DU, um, but it, it's definitely a hard course. It's hard to do well and there's a lot of work, but you, you learn a lot and I'd say that it's worth it, even if you don't get any. Definitely <clears throat> intermediate macroeconomics. Um, it was the course that 
broke the camel's back. I threw up during my exam, had a panic attack, <laughs> um, which I'd never experienced before. Um, I resat that course in summer and I decided that it just wasn't for me and that if I was going to do something, like I said before, I switched because I was a joint honours student, but if I was going to do something, it may as well get me a good grade and my degree so that I could get into a good master's programme. I think Legal Studies 2000 with Paula Holt. Um, more the fact that it was interesting than thrilling. I, I think Paula's a really good lecturer for um, engaging people and keeping you kind of listening, even when it's a topic that's maybe not so exciting or if it's sad, like we, when we covered um, criminal law and covered murder. But I want to practice law here, so for me it was a really nice introduction to some stuff that I've never had experience with before. That's why I liked it so much. Ever. <clears throat> I probably from back home before I started university we had to do a summer school program and um, part of that was a history class where we covered uh, the history of the university and all that sort of thing and I, I really would love to go back and do that if I could. Um, so we got to do a couple different periods of history like I said history of the university which was really interesting because it's like older than this country. Um, we got to do fashion history which honestly for me was probably my favourite part because we got to see these garments in real life that were from like 17, 18, 1900 and um, we also got to go to the archives which have books in them that are older than countries. It's, it's really, really interesting. Definitely Paula Holt. I, well, she's so passionate about her subject. She just knows a lot in general. And as like a woman wanting to go into law, it's inspiring to see someone who's been able to do that and, and didn't come from a family of lawyers or, or anything particularly like that. She She's a family lawyer, so like it's personal for me um, and does a lot of pro, pro bono work, which I it's just something that I really appreciate and look up to. Um. I would say anything from Bell's, which like I said before is business ethics and legal studies, those are just really valuable. Um, it's definitely really enriching, but I mean, as an exchange student, I don't really know because I haven't taken many of the core classes, um, but you should definitely take your core classes if you want to pass your major, so. <laughs> Paula Holt, who's on Bell's. Don Bacon, who I took for consumer behaviour, really, really nice guy and um, interesting and just a really accommodating professor. And uh, Scott Tony, who I actually haven't taken, but I've heard 